Today we're going to do something that I've been putting off for a little bit too long. Finally going to rewire my dash. The reason it's taken so long is because I was waiting for this. Uh, what this is, is an AC vent conversion. It's made by a guy in Australia uh, with a company called Shadow Concepts. So huge shout out to them. I'll put the link to the Facebook page uh, in the description. But this is the one that I'm going to be putting the gauge in. So originally it looks kind of like that, but the way that this conversion works is that the gauge will sit in there, just sort of tucks in there like that, and the gauge will be there. And uh, it's really cool actually, because this allows you to continue to use the AC vent as intended. So it's got these little holes on the side here. You can see my fingers, uh, so that air can actually pass around the gauge, and you know, you can still have heat and stuff like that. And then it's got this little rubber coating to protect it from heat and moisture and everything like that. Oh shit. Uh, I put all these bolts here so I'd remember where they went. And uh, now that I'm looking at them, I have no idea where they went. Okay, off to an awesome start. Uh, I've been working on this for about 30 seconds now and I removed one of these on this side and uh, unfortunately, Dropped it down here somewhere. There it is. So, uh, yeah, awesome. So I guess the first time that I did this, uh, I took a lot of shortcuts. And I mean, now that Locals is a little bit more established, I think it's time that we try to inspire you guys to do things the right way the first time. So I'm gonna redo all of the wiring for this dash properly. I'm gonna solder everything, make sure all the connections are secure and tight, and uh, just basically do everything without taking shortcuts because I want this car to be a lot more functional this year and just a lot cleaner. and. I mean, if you're half-assing it, then why bother doing it in the first place, right? So the first thing I've done is just really simplify the wiring process. I've removed the gauge and I've tucked a lot of unnecessary wires in. So this is the wire that actually goes to the wideband sensor, this one here. And then uh, this one covered in red is for power and ground, as you can see. But first, we gotta go get gas. Every time that my girlfriend takes a picture or a video in portrait, I make her put a dollar in the portrait jar. <laughs> Landscape everything. Fuel level low, yeah, I know. This is this is Rob. I'm filming the video right now, man. I'm going to Home Depot to get a soldering gun. We're gonna yeah. I'm, uh, fuck! I'm jealous. I miss my Subaru, and I miss my Supra, and I miss summer. And I miss driving. Check out this gas station hack. Okay. I'm wearing shorts. You're an animal, man. Everybody go check out Rob's YouTube channel. He posts cool videos of his Subaru. Well, you know, big things. <laughs> Alright, I'll go over here. I'll try right. like an ass. Okay, make sure you do a huge pull here. Okay. <laughs> okay. Only if they subscribe. <laughs> Those socks though. <laughs>
That belongs to Rob. So I just picked up my soldering gun. Hopefully it makes the cut. What would we do without Home Depot? Shortly after filming that last scene, I dropped my phone from this high, literally just outside of my door, and it fell down to here, and uh, it happened to land right on the face and fucking shattered. So the face of my phone is now destroyed. Uh, after doing that, I got a little bit frustrated and stopped working for the day. So we got quite a bit of progress since the last time that I filmed. I kind of just took a working break. Pretty hard to film and solder at the same time. Give you an update on what I did here. So I got the gauge in the slot and put the panel on. Uh, next step is to just tuck some of these wires up. Kind of like clean up this mess down here. Also what I did is I've soldered a splice into the power wire for the cigarette lighter right here. So this is the power wire coming in and then I spliced it out into both boost controller as well as the gauge. And then uh, next step is kind of just tuck all this shit behind the panel and start putting things back on. But one of the other issues too is finding a way to mount the turbo timer on the side here. Uh, it will not hold the 3M. This stuff is way too old. And uh, yeah, 3M just doesn't grab this at all. Last summer, I rigged these zip ties in here to hold this wire up, but I'm gonna cut it. And unfortunately, I don't have the right tool. However, I'm at a bit of an awkward angle and I don't wanna get up and go get a tool. So I'm just gonna use what I have, which happens to be a saw. Carefully, hopefully I don't cut the wire. Success! So hopefully I can get this looking pretty minty by the time the Driven Show rolls around. I just want the, all the wires to be tucked nicely and have it cleaned up a lot. Last summer was a really big hassle and a huge learning lesson for me as to why you should do things right the first time. My feet were constantly in contact with wires and it was super annoying. My fault though, it was a direct result of what I did wrong the first time. Okay, so it's now the next day. Uh, right now I'm working on dealing with the issue of mounting my turbo timer. So I went to Home Depot earlier and bought some of these. They're just metal brackets. And then what I did is I customized it and drilled some bigger holes in it as well as made it a little bit shorter. So I'm just gonna line up this bracket and then start drilling some holes. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I'll show you the finished product. 
or the semi-finished product. I still have to put the steering wheel back on and I'm reupholstering my shift boot so I'm gonna have to uh, put this back on pretty soon here too. But basically this is it. Once I 3M this here and finish this, it'll be complete. Uh, but for now, this is what my current project looked like. So I got the gauge in here. Uh, it looks awesome, super flush. It honestly looks OEM, which is exactly what I was going for. So stay tuned over the next couple weeks. Uh, my wheels should be coming in next week and I'm gonna be getting tires mounted shortly soon after that as well as powder coating them. So lots of cool videos coming up, uh, including test fitting the wheels and a few other things on the Supra. So thanks for watching guys. Okay.